Greetings YouTube. I've got something to show you. I've never done this before and it'll probably be very unprofessional but I just wanted to highlight something. Uh, first of all I've never owned a drone before until probably about a month ago and I purchased this drone Sky Viper V2400 HD streaming video drone for no particular reason. I mean, I didn't look at any reviews or unboxing. Before, a couple of weeks ago, I didn't even know there was such a thing as an un unboxing video. Since then, however, I've watched a lot of them. Granted, specifically about drones, but I've even watched some of them several times, and i got to say, they're, they're pretty entertaining. Uh, this will not be one of those. The reason I'm doing this in the first place is this is not my first Sky Viper drone. I'll show you my first Sky Viper drone. Which is this guy right here. Um, yeah, it got run over. It's, it's done. It's kinda sad. Um, I just got it fixed. I burned out a motor and watching YouTube video, I was able to replace it, and I got to say, the thing flew like a charm. However, it got away from me the other morning and ended up landing in a very busy street where it was promptly run over. And it's, it's cooked, it's done. So, my wife, being the sweet girl she is, she said, you better go back and buy one. As a matter of fact, why don't you buy two? Because it just happened that they were on sale at, I believe it was Myers, here in town. Um, well, maybe I should go back a little bit. This actual drone, the one that got run over, was not the first Sky Viper 2400 that I bought. The first Sky Viper 2400 that I bought, or I should say my wife bought, she got it for my birthday. And I unboxed it get everything together and it didn't work which was kind of disappointing I read the owner's manual several times and I just could not get the thing to work so I took it back to Myers and got a new one which is this one well come to find out I believe that drone I originally received was working uh, however my own stupidity made me think that it wasn't working. Basically what it was was I didn't have real fresh batteries in my transmitter so the thing didn't work. Duh. But I didn't know that. Like I said this is my first time doing this so I'm learning. But anyway to make a long story short the other day I bought two of these because actually it's a it's a fairly good drone if you're like me and never flown a drone before. It provides reasonably good video which is basically the main reason why I bought it and kinda of to, to try to learn how to fly and I'm actually learning how to fly it pretty good um, the only thing I will mention with this particular drone is it says the transmitter is good to god I forget it's something like 300 meters maybe it's not even close to that if you get probably a hundred meters away from your transmitter this thing's gonna go haywire which is what happened to me which is why my poor little pet here ended up getting run over in the street. <laughs> so that is a little shaky. It's not nearly as far of a range as they say it's going to. However, that being said, um, if it's for a first-timer drone, it's reasonably inexpensive, um, and it's it's fun to fly. I love it. I you know I've, I've really found uh, something I really get into like this. The unboxing part is what I'm getting to now. This would be, let's see, one, two, this I believe is the third or maybe fourth time I've unboxed this particular exact same drone. And it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's not much to it. The interesting thing was when I went back to Myers to buy the two replacement drones, which is one here, as I was taking it out of the store, I noticed that it didn't have the little security item that's in front of some of these. One did and one didn't. This one did, the other one didn't. And I asked the lady when I was having her remove it for me, because I didn't want to set the alarm off, I says, is there some reason why this one has a security 
thing on it, and the other one doesn't, and she didn't know. But when I was putting it into my car, um, I shook the box, and things were moving around inside, which, as I understand, if you have a drone, there shouldn't be anything moving around. And then it struck me. I says, what are the odds that I just bought the same drone that I took back a couple of weeks ago? And I got it home, and sure enough, that's the one I bought. However, like I said, there really wasn't anything wrong with the drone, and it worked fine. It was just because I didn't have fresh batteries that it didn't work. And I don't know if the people at Myers actually tried it out to make sure it worked before they put it back on the shelf. I suspect they didn't. So you might want to just pay attention to that if you're in the market for a drone. Like I said, it's kind of karma that I got the same one back, which I guess you could say it's my first drone, so my first drone technically isn't the one that got run over, but it's it's kind of different. Okay, that being said, let me get to my unboxing and an exciting time you will have.